Navy at Notre Dame. Game number 207, 208, 56 the total with Notre Dame laying 22. Off of a bye week, preparing for an option team. I think Notre Dame's the side here. I already bet it personally off the open. How do you feel? Uh, you know, I, I hate betting against Navy. You know, I'm a big military fan. Mm-hmm. I, I hate, you know, I hate doing that. It's just, I, I just don't think it gives you a, a, a very, you know, no, no betting experience is ever kind of ideal, but you just kind of sit on your hands because Navy won't beat themselves. As bad as they played this year, they're not going to beat themselves. They're not going to give up bad penalties. They're always going to play hard. Um, and you know, they're going to run the ball. It, it's, you know, can they fundamentally, if you're Notre Dame, you know, handle the gap integrity that you have to have, you know, playing against a mobile quarterback and a mobile offense. Um, but, you know, Drew, it is hard to get behind Navy right now. They're a bad defensive team. Um, they, they're just kind of going through the motions, I feel like, at this point. I thought the game against Houston really kind of proved that. Um, you know, they had a lead in that game and just kind of just kind of let it all go. Um, they were good on the ground, though. And, and I wonder, you know, can Notre Dame get some stops here? You know, they did. They have been very good against the run throughout the season. But you know, we've seen them kind of get back down to earth a little bit um, against that Pittsburgh team. They had a kind of a weird performance against Ball State. Um, you know, but they're at home here. They have a ton to play for right now. I think Ian Book should have a field day on this defense. Um, I'm actually, I, I think an over might be worth a look here because I think Navy will be able to do something on offense. Again, overs right now have been scarring for me. I think for a lot of people too, but I, for, for the record, I think Book will have a field day. It's three plus touchdowns, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if Notre Dame pushed 50 plus in this game. They should be able to totally move the ball. Yeah, I, I see him moving the ball too. Also, Navy, I mean, however they've been priced in the market, what we got two, four, five straight ATS losses. So if you've been betting on Navy, you've been uh, losing a lot of money. And we all know when, when Notre Dame made the switch to Ian Book, they won and covered their first three games with them, all three straight overs as well. But that got bucked just uh, in their last game against Pittsburgh. They won the game, barely, 1914, uh, lost against the spread, also an under ticket on that one. So I think that they'll be able to, off the bye week, kind of regroup here and just take it out on Navy. Um, I'm with you. I I, I like Notre Dame. I guess you you said you want to stay away from it, though? Yeah, I would look more. I'm more interested maybe seeing what the total is in this game. But, yeah, I I mean, I don't disagree with your play. Um, You know, I think people might jump off because it's above that three touchdown mark. But, you know, all in all, I think, you know, Navy – you know, are a bad, bad defensive team. And do I think they could score 30 points in this game? No. So, you know, I, I think it's going to kind of consult and maybe make sense to take Notre Dame. Because you look at scores, I mean, Notre Dame's going to push 50. Um, you know, that means Navy's going to have to score 30 or 28. I, I don't think they can do that. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.